Greetings and salutations, guys. Heaton here. Welcome to our late night live sale this Friday, November 24th, 2023. It's the day after Thanksgiving. How is everyone doing tonight? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I hope you guys all had a fantastic Thanksgiving. I know I had so much fun and I ate so much food. <laughs> uh, but let's see who's in here. Hi, West Coast gal. How are you? Hi, Kirsten. How are you, Linda? How's everyone doing? Did you guys have a good day yesterday? Did you guys have a good day today? Did anyone do any Black Friday shopping? That's going to be today's question, I think. Did you do any shopping today? That's going to be our question. Hi, Adriana. Okay. Black Friday shopping. That's today's question. Hi, Purple Rain. And then leave your answer in the comments of the video that I linked. And today I have a fun giveaway. It's a avocado wristlet. It's so cute. Um, you can even just use it as like a little coin pouch or something. Uh, but yeah, it's just like has a zipper, has a little wristlet that's removable. And yeah, so it's an avocado wristlet pouch. It's today's giveaway. I thought it was super cute. So this is what we're giving away. But did you guys all have a good Thanksgiving? Oh, nice, Linda. I love Christmas lights. Hey, Anne, how's it going? I have a bunch of snacks with me tonight. I have pecan bars. And then these little like shortbread cookies with like a raspberry filling, I think is what's inside. They're so good. Oh, I saw a Georgina and Lucy tote um, the other day and I thought about you, Kirsten. <gasps> How was your sale, Anne? I, today they have like, um... What is it called? They don't have any selling fees today, right? On whatnot. So that's really cool. <gasps> Kirsten, are you? Oh, how exciting. Oh my gosh. Are you guys still full from Thanksgiving? I ate so much. I think I gained like 45 pounds probably. Nice. I wanted to do a whatnot sale, but then I was just like, I don't have any time. <laughs> it's only for today though, huh? The whatnot thing. I bet a lot of people are having whatnot sales today. Hi, Dee Dee. Are you serious? And you should have done it today because there's no selling fees. Is it already over? No, you still have two hours. You should do it right now. <laughs> What else are you going to purge? Though I feel like you did such a good job already purging all your bags. Vadrian is on the, um, is babysitting right now. And the baby is like so cute. Oh, that's right. <gasps> Linda, that's going to be so cute. That's so cute. How old is Kennedy now? Oh, these kids are getting so big so fast. I was going to show you guys some photos of... You guys want to see a photo of the boys? I could not. I think my sister got, like, a better photo of them. But it was hard to get them. Like, I don't think I have a photo of all of them looking... Oh, no, maybe this one, I think, is probably the best one. They were, like, not cooperating with me yesterday. I think it's because I wouldn't let them eat until we got a good photo. <laughs> I was like, you guys can't eat. Like, I wanted to take a picture of them in front of the thing. And then all Zach wanted to do is eat, like, mashed potatoes. 200 bucks for the Amma, that is such a good deal. <gasps> Kennedy's gonna be four in February. Oh! They grow quickly. It's crazy. Um, Here's a picture of the boys. You know, DG House, 
Um, usually when we have parties, like my mom and I both don't eat that much, but yesterday I made sure to eat a lot. <laughs> and yeah, so it was good. <gasps> no way. That's amazing, Anne. But here are the boys in front of the spread. I think this is like the best photo I got of the three of them. And then um, here's, I, I, I was in charge of the charcuterie board slash like just like the middle of the table in general. Let me see if I have like a good photo. I did like post some photos like on Instagram already. I hope these are like, hold on, let me see what these look like. The turkey came out so nice. I was like obsessed with it. Bless you, Adrian. I guess these photos are okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the one thing too about whatnot that isn't my favorite is that, um, setting up like the items, you have to like know all the information and stuff. I'm just like, <gasps> I don't know. Okay. Here are some photos of the table. Um, is this like a big one? Hold on. Okay, there's kind of a view of it. Here's maybe a closer one. And then I have some photos of more of the charcuterie part. Oh my gosh, a fly got in my room. Um, and then here's this photo. Your luxury sales have topped? No way. Oh, thank you, Don. Also, hi, Don. How are you? Um, did I get a closer photo? What is this? I think this is like the end of the board. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, okay. I'm going to stop showing photos of the food, <laughs> but it was so much fun and we ate, everyone ate a lot and I try to get everyone to take home as much food as, um, as they could, because we had so much. Also, here's a family photo. Let me see. I think this is almost, this is most of the people that came. I think um, we got a few people that came a little later, like maybe eight more people. But here's like our group photo. Oopsies. Yeah, there you go. That's, yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kirsten. But yeah, okay, so that's it. Uh, but yeah, so if you want to enter the giveaway again for the avocado wristlet zipper coin pouch thing, Leave your answer in the comments of the video that I have linked in the live chat. And then at the end of the live, we'll be announcing the winner. Yeah, Kirsten, it was, um, it was a good amount of people. Thank you, Don. 
we were missing a bunch of people, but not everyone could make it to to the night. So, oh, the kids just dropped something upstairs. All right. Linda, you have to call, um, like, depending on who shipped it, if it was, like, the, uh, USPS, you, I, I think you might have to contact the sender, but see who's, um, shipping it, if it's USPS, FedEx, or UPS, and then you have to call, um, the hotline so they can check on it, because it might have gotten lost. Hi, Norma. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, so what's it called? Make sure to call because it might have gotten lost in the shipping department because it's happened a couple times. Yeah, um, if it's USPS, um, they're closed. Oh, I think they might be closed tomorrow. But call tomorrow. Linda, I'll send you the phone number. Or you can look it up. Just like Google um, USPS hotline. And what I usually do is I just keep asking to talk to a representative or else it'll take you forever to talk to anyone. And then just give them your tracking number. Tell them it's been 13 days. And then they'll put in like a request to for them to search for it. And hopefully they'll find it. Oh, Linda, I know my dad also loves books so much. Um, especially recently, he's been buying a lot of like first edition books and stuff. So he's been having books come a couple times a week. You're welcome, Linda. Okay. But let's get started. Our first item. I have a lot of fun stuff. Mm. Okay, let's do this bag first. This one is a Kate Spade. It's super cute, and I love the interior of it. So it's a tote bag, and it's in this really pretty mint color. Uh, I love books too, Don. My whole family, they were just like book lovers in general. So between just my mom, my dad, and myself, a gazillion books. So many. And I used to work at Borders. It's a beautiful tote. Yeah, I love that it has like these two big pockets on the on the front. And it doesn't have like a magnetic snap or a zipper up top, but it has a little snap closure that you can connect. But the inside is definitely the best part. It's this beautiful, like, glazed green leather. It's so, so pretty. There's a zipper pocket, and then there's, an, like, an open pocket behind it. And it's in really great shape. We have the top handles, and then it also has the longer straps as well. So then you can carry it on your shoulder. But it's such a pretty bag. Hi, Pauline. How are you? Happy Thanksgiving. Clanlands. And here's the bottom. It does also have little feet. It's in pretty great shape. It's in pretty good condition. Um, it just has like light marks on the feet. Otherwise, like the bag is in really great shape. And everything is like super clean. The corners are good. Um, there is just some slight like damage to the edge coat, but I can fill that in for you. Um, before we ship that out. So you won't even notice that there was anything there. But otherwise, yeah, it's in really beautiful condition. And this is going to be item number one. Our mint green leather Kate Spade tote bag with light gold hardware. And oh, also this is a newer style too. So... It's really, really cute. How much are we doing this one for, Vedran? And also, it does come 
with a little um, care booklet inside as well. Okay, what, what did you say, Peter? Okay, this one's going to be $80. And that's going to be item number one. Kirsten, it is... About 13 and a half inches wide. So 13.5 inches wide. From side to side. But it's such a cute bag. I love the color. It's really pretty. Alright, next up. I have... Um, this is a brand new... Um, the... Jaw Raven Kankin backpacks and it's in this really nice forest green color. Um, this is giftable, brand new. There's a front pocket right here, and then main compartment is right there. This is the laptop sleeve right here. It still has a little styrofoam little thing on the inside there, and straps are adjustable. It's here on the back. But yeah, brand new Jaw Raven Kankin backpack. And it's in this really pretty, it's called Arctic Green is the color name. Arctic Green. Really cute. I love this color. Number two. F, F Jaw Raven Kankin backpack. New with tags in forest green color and this one is how much Peter? okay we're doing this one for fifty dollars again this one is brand new oh yeah that would actually be good i think green is like my third favorite color yellows first and then blue and then green Next up is number three. Mm, I haven't been putting things in my notes. Whoopsies. All right. Next up, we have... That fly is so annoying. It's just like flying around my head. You better not try to get to my bars. Okay, next I have this guy right here. This is a really cute, um, what is it called? Kurt Geiger bag. And it is in this black quilted leather. Black quilted leather. Kurt Geiger has a little lock right there. It says Kurt Geiger has a gunmetal colored hardware. It has the shorter chain strap right here. And then it has the a fabric crossbody, like a nylon fabric. And it has a cute little round coin case charm right there that connects. And you can take that off and put it on other things as well or put it on your keys. Super cute. And it has a little Kurt Geiger with a little button right there. So fun. And then the bag opens up. On the inside, you have just one interior pocket right inside of there. And it's super clean. And inside and out, it's in really great shape. Super cute. Kurt Geiger. I love this strap too. And I love that it has like the little. Uh, coin case charm thing on there. I think it's a really fun bag. And this is number three. Black quilted Kurt Geiger uh, flap bag with removable 
coin case with gunmetal silver hardware. And this is, how much is this one, Vitorium? Okay, this one is $90, nine zero. That's item number three. And this one is in wonderful condition. Super cute. All right, next up, we have item number four. Okay. Well, I wasn't sure if I was going to do this one, but if anyone's interested, I do have... Okay, this is a Monsoor um, Gabrielle. It's like a round, like a half, like a domed leather clutch. And it's in this, like, burgundy red color. It says Monster Gabrielle right there in gold. Um, it does have some rubbing on the corners. And inside is in this, I think this is like a microfiber. There's one interior pocket right here. It has a little uh, Monsoor Gabrielle um, cards and everything. The retail on this was $425. And this just zips around. And it has a little wristlet right here as well. Super duper cute. And here's the back. The back. Here's the front. Hi, Finding Solace. How are you? So this is our burgundy leather um, domed clutch with gold hardware. And this guy is... Okay, and this one we're going to do for $75, Monsoor Gabrielle. And again, retail on this one was $425. Beautiful clutch. You can use it, like, for a night out. You can even use it for, like, makeup and stuff. Even, like, pencils. If you're, like, a scrapbooker or you, like, you have, like, a planner or whatever, this would be really cute for all that stuff. It's a good size, too. Okay, so that was four. Five is next. Okay, I love this guy. This is... All right, Anne, let me know when you're ready. And I'll send you a link. Next up, I have this coach. Um, this is a belt bag. And it's quilted. It's so cute. It kind of reminds me of like um, the Chanel reissue belt bag. It's so cute. It has a little coach sea charm right there on the zipper pull. Um, the strap, too, for the belt is like nice and long. So you can definitely wear it as a body bag. It would be super duper cute. Bless you. Like, look how cute that is. That's like so cute. My camera is like, there we go. Um, this isn't. This is black. Finding solace. Uh, it has a back zipper pocket right here. With a, like a burgundy maroon uh, microfiber lining. And then the main compartment in the front opens up. And just like that, there's a Creed is right there. And this is, yeah, it's, it's black. My lighting is very white. 
so it makes everything look a look, like makes this black look like navy. So this is our black coach quilted belt bag with brass hardware. And this guy is how much is this one be? It's really, really cute. There's like the belt buckle in the back. And then it has like part chain with the leather going through. V, how's it going? How are your whatnot sales today? Okay, how much, Peter? Okay, this one's going to be $90 for our coach belt bag. It's so cute. It does have the little hang tag, too, right there on the side. All right. Then we have number six. Kind of lame. What do you mean it was kind of lame? And also had a live, I uh, did a live sale today on whatnot. Vadrian says hi as well. Everything is so far away. Okay, next up. Man, I want the coach. I didn't saw that. Oh, how was it finding Solis? Were they beautiful? What's the best color that the Dakota comes in? This is our next item. This is a Dooney and Burke Cambridge or Cambridge. Um, oh, hold on, my brain is not working. L Florentine satchel, and it's in like that golden brown color. And this is in like the like the medium size. I love it. Like the patina on this leather is already stunning. Like it's gorgeous. So you can see that it does have a patina throughout. It has our crossbody strap right here. Um there's the bottom. It kind of has like a natural ombre now. Right, Kirsten, the belt bag is so, so, so cute. I really like it. Crossbody strap, adjustable and removable. We got the Christmas interior right there. And it actually is pretty, in pretty good shape on the inside, just like, Minor discoloration um, on the interior. I think it's mostly discoloration is in the top of the interior pocket right there. You can see that there's some discoloration right there. Um, otherwise, though, the bag is in pretty great shape. It's super duper cute. And it already has like a really nice patina to it. And hi, Style Chat. <laughs> Happy National Shopping Weekend, right? Okay, this is our golden brown leather Dooney and Burke Florentine satchel. And this one is going to be how much we're in for this guy. No, this one does have a little bit more wear to it. So we're going to do this one for... We're going to do 90 for this one. I bought a lot. <laughs> That's good, though, V. That's number six. $90 for our Dooney and Burke Florentine Satchel. The kids are screaming. Congratulations, Fighting Solace. Number six is going here. Yay! This is a beautiful one. You bought a treadmill? How's that? Wait, do you still have um one of those is it like the biking thing? What are those called? A Peloton. Do you still have your Peloton? Okay, that's number six. Seven is next. Finding Souls, congratulations. This one's a beauty. Oh, my other bags are too far away. I have to grab. 
Oh, are you serious? Fight? Well, I'm glad we had it for you tonight. Ah. Oh, I wanted to see if I can mark, take these marks off. Okay, hold on one second. Do, 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 do. Okay. So I have this. Um, this is a Tory Burch bag, but it has these marks on the back. And I wanted to see if I can get it off, like the like get the stain out, without um having to like color match it. And I'm hoping oh, it's coming off. Oh, thank the Lord. It looked like it was more superficial, so. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, let's see if I can get it. Let's see if I can get it all out. What did you say, Peter? Oh. You can hear the baby's baby running too. From a mile away. That's how babies are. Loud runners. Ah! Ah! I just want to make sure I can get this whole stain out before anything. But I'm pretty excited because this is pretty much all coming out. It, it looked kind of like a color transfer, but it looked a little bit more superficial. So it's sitting more at the top. Sometimes when you catch the color transfer quickly, you can remove it with not as much effort. But look how much better it is already. Like, remember that mark? You can still kind of see it, like, right there. But it is so, so good. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I can just get that all out. It's just going to take me a second. So this is excellent news. So this is our next item. This is a Tory Burch flat bag. It has convertible straps. You can wear it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. It has gold hardware. It has that Tory Burch logo right there in the front. It is embroidered on there. And there's a nice big pocket in the back as well. Perfect for your cell phone. And then inside is in great shape. There's a front pocket. And then there's a middle dividing zipper pocket. There's a large zipper pocket in the back. And then in the front, it has three open pockets right there. So lots of compartments on the interior. And it's actually really clean in the inside too. Um, yeah, I don't, there's no pen mark on the interior. It was just in the back that had the marks, but uh, I'm pretty confident I can get it all out. It's pretty much almost out already. I just have to go over it a couple more times, which I will not bore you guys with right now. So um, this is gonna be item number seven. This is our taupe gray leather Tory Burch flap bag with gold hardware. And this one is, how much weight Okay, we're going to do this one for $85. Eight five. And it has like that whip stitch. Oh my gosh, that fly. It's coming for me. It has like a whip stitch design that goes around the top flap right there. Okay, that's number seven. Next up. Oh, V, do you have any um, Lululemon for men? I love Lululemon so much. I'm not. I'm actually not wearing any Lululemon right now, though. But it's my favorite. I know, the, the shorts are my favorite. I have, like, 50 pairs. <laughs> Do 
Do you want to come on? Oh, yeah, hold on. Um, how do I do this again? I haven't done this for a hot second. Let's get my link. Oh, be the baby saying hi. 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 Oh, is he looking at me on the in the video? Oh, hi, Ethan. Hi, Ethan. Hi. Is he going to be so excited? Oh, my gosh. You have to record him crying. <laughs> he screamed. <gasps> that is so cute. Oh my gosh. Wait, Vidrian, what's Anne's e Anne, what's your email again? Oh, yeah, it's right, right. Hold on, I know it. Wait, no, I don't. I don't know it. Can you send it to me, Vidrian, so I can send her the in thing? Huh? Oh, I almost flicked the fly. Okay. Oh, I know! Linda, that's so cute! <laughs> so many Ethans! That's so cute. Thanks, Fadrian! Alright, and I'm sending you the- I'm sending you an email, just because, um... I don't have Discord on my computer because he keeps signing me out. So I'm going to send you the link there. Just check out your email. I have the link there for you. And I just sent it. So you should get it any second now. There we go. Hey, Al. How's it going? I didn't go to like any regular source today. Um, just I knew there was gonna be so much traffic and like so many people. My sister went. She sent me photos. It looked intense. So is Ethan maybe? Al, I wish we had a closed mentor here. Are you serious? I know, um, I think Play-Doh's had a sale, right? But none of the, I didn't go to Play-Doh's today. Oh, here's Anne. Hey, Anne. I'm going to put you up on the screen. Where are you? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh hold on. You're already there. Trying to figure out how to flip the camera again. I forget how to do this. Okay, fix yourself and then uh, I'll put you up. But you, you, your, your voice is here, just not your video. Saying back. Ah, here we go. go. Hold on, give me a second. Oh my gosh, this thing's button. funky. Oh, there we go. I might go to the mall tomorrow. But I don't know. I'm not like. I haven't done like actual Black Friday shopping in like a long time. All right, are you ready? Okay, let me pop you up. Yes. For what? Oh yeah. I get to Spider show off my new. Oh look at you! You got your setup. I get to show off my new ring light. Yeah. Hold on. Well, bam. Change my background thing. Hold on, let me just change this. I think this is so cool. <laughs> there you go. Okay. And can I use your email can adjust that I, I sent you the email with for your um for people to send email to? For if they buy anything? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll put that up right now. Oh, it looks kind of far away here. Let me do this. Adjusting the camera. 
Oh yeah, that's much better. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. So I only got a couple of items. Just want to throw them out there if anybody wants them. But it's got a little it's got a little bit of tarnishing and scratching there. The sides look good. A little bit of scratching. I think this would be a good dye project. It doesn't look the worst. It actually looks pretty good. I'm holding it up and just looking to see how the camera looks. Maybe hold it down a little bit more. Yeah, but uh, inside. If I need to back up a little bit more, just tell me. No, you're good. But inside's clean. Oh. Yep, inside's clean. Just got a little, a little, a uh, couple of scuffs and uh, some tarnishing. But um, this one would be a uh, hundred bucks. So if anybody wants that, and then I've got. This Loewe wallet. Like, I'm gonna let it go. New art? It's so pretty. It's a beautiful Yeah. Color. Yellow's not my color. <laughs> oh. But, um, it's got a little scuff here. It's a little dirty, so it needs a good cleaning, or it could be a dye project. A little... It looks like a, like a burgundy color. And then on the back, it's got a couple of little dirt marks here. And then the inside, silver hardware, by the way. Inside's like a burgundy color. It's real pretty. Clean inside. Check the coin pouch. It's a little dirty, but not too bad. And this one I'm just selling for 90 bucks. Nice. That is cheap. Ninety bucks, you guys. Yeah. End of the year clear out. <laughs> <laughs> and in this one I've had I've had this one forever, but this is the Dior. Don't mind my husband in the background. He's got allergies. <laughs> it's okay, we all do. But there's um there's some wrinkling here. And then there's a little bit of like uh I guess like smoothing of the texture. Uh-huh. Okay, and then the zipper tracks looks good. There's a little bit of let's see if I can show it. A little bit of like a rub here. And then a little bit of rub here. So it rubs on the corners, smoothing of the leather. And then the inside really needs to be cleaned. So this will be a, another cute little project wallet. See how it's got like, I guess it might be like makeup or something. I'm not quite sure what that is. But it's not peeling or bubbling. It just needs a really good clean. So for this one, I'll do 80 if anyone's interested. Ooh, that's cheap. Someone get that. Yeah, cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> Gotta get them out of here. And then, if you're ready for the next one, got Ooh, this uh, RTA. It's like a... I think it's like a burgundy, you know, that classic color Cartier mm -hmm. has. And it's an eyeglass holder. It's got some rubbing on the leather. This could use a good clean. That's what it looks like on the inside. It'll it'll take like really small sunglasses and then eyeglasses. And then this is what the side looks like. 
a couple little scratches here and there. A lot of these were going to be dye projects, but I chose not to. <laughs> I got lazy. But um, this one I'll do 40. Uh, do 35. 35. Yep, yep, yep. That's a cute case. It is. And then somebody might like this. So these are pink Gucci sunglasses. So because they're, they don't really, they're not black lenses, so they're not really that good for blocking out sun. But it comes with like paperwork and stuff. And it comes with a pretty dust bag. And then if somebody wants to know the measurements on this, let me see. It is 59 square, 19, 145. And I mean, I only wore them once. I think I wore them to the Barbie movie. <laughs> That's the perfect place. Yeah, but these I'm gonna I'm I'm selling for um, let's do 120. They're pretty much brand new, and um, because they don't come with a hard case, if somebody buys them, I'll throw in a Marc Jacobs um, sunglass case. That way, they don't get nice. squished. So, yep. All right. Oh, thanks, guys. Sorry if you hear my husband blowing boogers back there. <laughs> no, we can't even hear him. Okay, good. Um, so I've still got this. It's the um, that bracelet, the leather bracelet. And this one just had a little bit of like creasing right here where you buckle it. But it's gorgeous. I just don't wear it enough. And it comes with the dust bag in the box. And I bought this from Jport, so um, I can get a C tag number and a certificate for this. But um that one I'll let go for one ninety nine. I think I paid two fifty for it. So, so he wants that. <laughs> the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So the next one is this cute little one that I thrifted. And it's like, I, I, I guess it's that viral TikTok purse, but it's like the little miniature one. So it's like a little crossbody, and it comes with um, air, like AirPod holder thing. Like it comes with this thing. And it's like a really soft baby dust pink. Here comes the strap. And it comes with another strap. Ooh, all the straps, all the options. And the inside's really clean. It's very, very lightly used. And I'm not going to be one of those people who charge an arm and a leg for these stupid things. <laughs> so um, I'll let this one go um, 20. That just, that just covers shipping pretty much. So just a little miniature Steve Madden. Super cute. That's cute. I like the color a lot. If nobody gets it, I'm not going to be mad, honestly. <laughs> I'll wear it to concerts or something. Okay. So this was the one that I was talking about earlier. So this is the... Gosh, I'm going to make sure you guys see this well enough. Let's see if that shows up. Yeah, okay. Maybe back a little bit more. Yeah. 
It shows full screen over here, but for some reason, it doesn't on the yeah. live. Uh, Let's see if that works. Is that good? Yeah. I'll show the handles if it's cut off. But... Hold on. Okay, that's a little bit better. So it's got a lot of um, watermarks on it, but it could be cleaned up or dyed, rubbing on the corners. Let me bring it up real close. So everyone can see. And the zipper's got a little bit of tarnishing. Yeah, yeah, it does. Actually, it's quite a bit. Let's see if I can bring it up here. Maybe this ring light's too bright. And then the handles. Lots of patina and light scratches, but I don't see any hairlines or cracking. Let me check the other side. Can you see the handles okay? Yeah. They look, okay, yeah, just making sure. Clear. Yeah, I mean, just, a, just little wears and tears and little rubs here and there, but... I don't see any cracking or like anything super dry. Yeah, I feel like with like a couple layers of conditioner, it'll even out a lot and it'll look really Oh, good. for sure. Yeah. All right, and then let me show you the interior. The interior is really clean. And then, gosh, I don't know where the day codes are on these. Pocket, maybe? Yeah, it's in the pocket. So the day code on this is. VI0946. I'm not good with date codes. And this, this would come with an um certificate as well. But this one I'm selling for 200 That is a really good price. Someone should get that like right now. Yeah. For that Alma, that is so cheap. And if nobody buys it, I won't be mad. But let me just, you know, I'm trying to clear out stuff. So. Yeah, that is a good price, you guys. Oh, yeah, and of course it doesn't come with the strap, but obviously. Okay, next one. I don't have too much left here. Oh, let me show you. Where is it? This has got to go because this is too good. It is the Mark Jacobs stand bag. Guys, I think it's the the reiteration yeah, of it. They're selling it for like fourteen hundred still. Like it's they brought it back. Yeah. Hopefully they can see that. Yeah, it looks good. But um, I don't know if this was just a flaw of the bag, but like, if you swing it open, sometimes it like just pops open like this. I don't oh, know if that yeah, was just just like a little like loose. Because it's so heavy, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, like, it still comes with the paperwork and everything. Like, the tags. It's in the color cashew. Oh, and it comes with a dust bag, too. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with the bag. Let me just check the corners. Just a little bit of rub. Nothing crazy. Yeah, a little bit of rub there. But I know that these things go for a lot of money. And I got a good deal on it. So I wanted to give any everyone else a good deal on it. Um, so, actually, hold on one second. It looks like there might be a little bit of wear on the, on the opening right here. On the leather. But other than that, it looks pretty good in my opinion. So for this one, I'm going to sell it for $150. That's cheap. That's a good price. Comes with a dust bag and authenticity certificate as well. Okay. Um, this one's a floppy one, so bear with me. <laughs> this is a B. Mikowski. Gosh. Let me see if I can do this. 
zoom out on it. <laughs> but it's it's a huge bag, and I think the only issue is just a couple of little spots here and there that could easily be cleaned up. See, there's a spot right there. A little bit of rubbing on the corners. Can you guys see it? No, I think it's oh, not really gosh. a frame. There you go. I actually, yeah, down more. I actually don't like this now. It's so hard to get it on camera. <laughs> but anyways, let me see if I can... Alright, so... There you are, there you are. Now you're in frame. So you got some spots here on the bottom of the base. A little bit right here. This shows the flaws really well, though. You got some rubbing on the corners. I think the inside's pretty good. Hold on, let me double check. Not really any, like, edge coat cracks or anything. There's a couple of pop stitches on the handle. And then let me check the interior. Silver hardware. And who, boy, this thing's huge. That's what the interior looks like. It's Ooh, pretty. It's so pretty. Yeah. And this one, I'm going to sell for... I'll do 40 because the hardware is kind of heavy, and the shipping is going to be kind of annoying. So that'll cover shipping. Humongous. Uh, let's see... We got maybe like two or three bags left. So be done pretty quick. I still have this one. Hopefully that'll show. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. It has staining on it, and I I've tried to get it out. I don't know if I'm not using something strong enough. But it has just like little minor specks here and there. You could you could probably see them. You got some up there. Fabric, right? Fabric and leather. It's like canvas, yeah. Yeah. And then the plate's got some scratching on it. Um. Yeah, the bottom of the bag. See how it's got like stains. And then the handles. Um, just where the hardware has been, there's some, like, darkening of the handles. Can you see that? Mm hmm Yeah. And then the interior. I don't know why it zooms in so, so much. Jeez. But that's what the inside looks like. So, the inside's a little bit dirty, but not nearly as bad as the exterior. And you could, you could dye this. I'm not sure. But this one, I paid too much for it. Um, so I'll let, I'll let this go for like 300 A good deal, but I mean, still a little, a, like a little bit. So I can understand nobody wants it. <laughs> I feel like that's a good deal. It is. Like, I think I paid almost 500 for it, so I think it's a good deal. Um, okay. This one, I won't be mad if it doesn't sell because I still kind of like it. But it's that, it's that B. Macau or not B. Mikowski, but Kurt Geiger. It's that huge hobo bag. It's called Violet Hobo. Gosh, you can't even see it. It's so huge. It's so big. Oh, yeah, it's like huge, but it looks. Yeah. The leather looks. But if you look it up, I mean, I think the retail's for like 360 on it. Um, and I paid full price for it. And then there's like a couple little scuffs because I used it as an airport bag. Uh, it's got some corner rub. Oh, man. The light's showing a lot of the sauce. Uh, a little mark here. Yeah, a little black leather dye will fix that right up, though, so... Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's good to know. So, the rub is just on the one side, on the corners, not on the other side. There's a couple of pop stitches, nothing crazy. Um, The, in the interior is like a... I don't know what you call this fabric, but this is what it looks like. It's it like, it's not really... Is it like it's not really, like... 
is suede or side of the leather it might just be suede i don't know because sometimes those are unlined like the yeah the made in italy ones are unlined i think it's just suede so yeah it's i mean that's basically it there's like the interior is clean it's just a couple little scuffs on the um exterior so for this one it was kind of pricey uh i'll do 95 for it oh you paid full price for that one yeah i know like i said if nobody buys it i'm not gonna be upset you know <laughs> Um, I know no one's going to want this one, but I'm just going to throw it out there anyways. But I've got this Prada bag. It's like a, it's like a dusty baby pink color, but it's definitely a project bag because it has a lot of rubs and like color loss on it. And I think it, I think it wasn't supposed to be wrinkled. But it is. I guess it's just the way they stored it. But it's got a wrinkly look to it, which I think is kind of cool. But I don't think that's how it was supposed to be. But um, let's see. It's leather. You can see, like, yeah, it's leather. You can see the color loss here. And there's some color loss here. It's all throughout the bag. There's rubs on the corners, color loss in the corners. Like I said, you'd have, you would have to re-dye this bag for sure. Is it silver hardware on that one? It's silver hardware, and it has a place for a lock, but it doesn't come with the lock. And then the interior is all leather, so it's pretty. It's a huge bag, though. It's not, the color's not shown really good on the camera, but it's definitely a pink. It's looking more tan on the camera. But this one, um, just the cover shipping, I'm going to do 115 for it. Oh, hey, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> I didn't, what? Hold on. I just opened this pocket. Was there a strap in there? Was it? Oh, no. What's inside? It comes with the lock. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know it was there. Oh, and the lock. Okay, so it comes with the lock and the key. And then, what on earth? How serendipitous. Oh my god. Okay, so it came with a product card, but for some reason it's stuck to the back pocket. Oh no. Jesus. Okay, I'm going to do 100 for this because of this. Because I think if you pull it off, it's going to take the leather with it. But that's unfortunate. I wonder what happened there. Yeah, it's it's going to take the leather. Gosh. This bag might be a lost cause. I wonder what happened. Maybe, huh? it, maybe it got like melted on there, like if it was like really hot. I don't know. But yeah, 100 because of that. Because if you pull it off, you will pull off the leather, unfortunately. Oh, well. I can just use it as like a travel bag or something. <laughs> um, real quick, if anybody wants this, this is a size medium, a hundred percent wool. Although it doesn't really feel like wool, but it's a Salvatore Ferragamo like zip up shirt, like pullover. Ooh, I can send cool. more photos on uh discord if anybody wants it but it's a size medium it's real cute it's nice and soft and i don't see any like rips or stains on it but i'll 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 sell that for 50 if anybody wants it and then that might be it i do have this loewe bag but it's got some scratch marks from my cat. I showed you guys this in Discord a while back. What color is that? Is it like a cream? It's white. White? It's white. Like an off-white. More white. And it's got blue stitching on it, which I thought was pretty. Dang, this light is really bright. Let me see if I can lower the brightness. 
see if that works a little bit. But it's like, it's got a huge compartment in the middle, two side, side compartments. It's a really big bag. It's just, it's got those scuffs on it. And I can show you. All right, so there's one. See if it shows. Can you see it? Oh, I think you can see it, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then it's got some rubbing right here. And then this side's the worst. So you got two marks there, one there, and then one here. Blame my cat. <laughs> <laughs> But it's, um, yeah, it's really nice otherwise. I, it's a shame I can't show you what it looks like, but let me see if I can hold it far away. So it's like a hobo bag. It but I can nice. always send more. It's pretty. It's like, ooh, it's really, really soft, too. Um, but for this one... I'll do 95 just because it's got all those scuffs. It's still a really good bag. If, you, if you're if you crafty and you can fix the scuffs on it, more power to you. <laughs> um, I think that might be it. Not unless somebody wants this. This was a Kate Spade, like, hobo bag. Is that like a gray color? It's a, it's like a gray color, like slate color. But it's got a little bit of edge coat cracking. And it's got like, I don't know what that is. It's like color loss or like maybe the paint's cracking on the leather. See how it's kind of like brownish? Yeah, it might be dirty. It might just need to be cleaned. I've, I've tried cleaning it, and then it almost looks like there's a little bit of, like, a red shimmer on the exterior. And it's kind of, like, all over the place. So I've been trying to fix it, and I haven't been successful. So I just thought maybe I'd just cut my losses and just sell it. You might be able to re-dye it. I don't know, because it's kind of like, it's got that coating on it. I don't know if you can do that with a Kate Spade bag. You probably just have to, like, remove it with, like, rubbing alcohol or um, a leather, like, deglazer. Hmm. But, um, I'm just going to sell it for what I paid for it. So, uh, 25 That should cover shipping and everything. Oh, let me show you the inside. Forgot to show that because it was dirty on the inside, but I've cleaned a lot of it. So there's still the um, there was still a little bit like a little bit up here along the top zipper track, like right here. But. I may have missed a couple of spots, but overall, it's looking way better than what it was. So, yeah, um, 25, that'll cover shipping and fees and stuff like that, so. Uh, the only other bag that I'm selling is my, the Louis Vuitton Murakami one. But that one's not cheap. <laughs> Vuitton Murakami? Um, I can, I can go grab it real quick. I don't know if anybody would want to see it. Just show it. We want to see okay, it. Okay, give, give me a second. I'm kind of sitting on the floor and my foot's falling asleep. Show us, show us, show us. I'm getting it. <laughs> Is anyone doing any shopping tomorrow? Like, I feel like it's always fun to shop the weekend after Thanksgiving, but it, that's like when like crazy holiday shopping starts. That's everything's like packed until Christmas. But you know, the holiday I feel like I think I feel like people have been shopping for the last three weeks, so there's not really like really any good deals. Like, 
I don't know. There's just like an energy <laughs> during this time <laughs> of people like just going outside, like and being like in their vicinity. You can just like feel it. Oh, there we are. So I do have the original leather strap. I just have like a little twilly attached to it right now. So just ignore that. <laughs> that is that the bucket bag one. It's the petite Noe Murakami. Okay, yeah. So yeah. No. So um, this one was fine. It does have, of course, like you know, like how the red interior bleeds. So it's yeah, got yeah. like a red, like a red hue all around the side pocket here. Uh huh. And then it's got a little bit of watermarking on the bottom. Nothing too crazy. And then it's got a little bit of loss here on the four corners. But that's normal, I think. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah. The strap looks great, though. I was just going to say the strap looks really good. Like, that has a nice, even patina. <clears throat> like, it's a golden, like, honey color. It's really nice. So there, So a little color bleed on the pockets primarily. And it probably needs another little once over with like cleaner because I think I missed a couple of spots here. And this comes with an entropy certificate. So, ooh, fancy. Um, <laughs> the main issue with this one was that the, the cheddar was cracking. So, hold on, let me find where it cracked. Hold on a second. It cracked in two different spots, I think. Uh, I think this is one. So, oh no, that's, oh no, that's the crack, yeah. It is. So, there's the crack right there. Can you see that? Oh yeah, that's in the inside. It's not that, it's not bad. Um, And then the second one was, what is it? I thought it was more prevalent than that. What on earth? I swore I had a second crack. <laughs> nope, that's the first one I saw. Oh, here it is. It's starting to crack. Not it hasn't cracked yet. But it's starting to. It is right here. I don't even see it. Hold on, I'm I'm oh, I moving it, it down. <laughs> it's kind of hard. Um, uh, that might not even be a crack. It might just be like a scratch or something. Uh, where are the date codes on these? Usually in the oh no, those are um, the, it, it's like embossed onto like the fabric or whatever. Like they're hard to uh, see. It's probably in like the pocket the where pocket, I can't see it. It's like embossed usually. Hold on. Well, I mean the entropy certificate's got it anyways. Yeah. Oh wait, I found it. It is Good God, this is hard to see. Oh also uh, uh, person's asking if there was any like damage to the Gucci wallet, the blue one. I'll um I'll pull it up here again. I think it says C A two zero seven seven. And Happy the interior, the interior is a little dusty, but I can clean that out. But I didn't see anything crazy inside. I feel like it's in pretty great condition. It looks. Pretty and good. I'm just trying to make back most of my money on it. I know I can't get. I probably can't get the full amount back, but um. <laughs> I'll do because I paid seven fifty for it, which is already a good deal. So seven hundred. Perfect. And nice. then let me show you the um, Gucci wallet again. It the main the main issue on this one was just tarnishing on the hardware. So let me see if that shows up. See those Why little spots on the jeans. Huh? Oh no, sorry. Sorry, Solis was asking a question. Oh, that's the main issue is the hardware, and then there's like little light 
scuffs on the leather. But you can only see it under like a harsh light, like what I'm doing right now. See like right there. And um, I mean, there's a little bit of rub. But like I said, this, this I feel like you can either touch up or you can just dye it a different color. And the interior is really clean. So. I, and I think I asked, I, I think that. I was asking 100 for it. I'll do 95 if Kirsten wants it. <gasps> 95 $5 discount. Because <laughs> it won't be that much to ship, so I'm not worried about the shipping, honestly. I'm just trying to clear up my closet. Um, But I think that's it. I mean, I have the I have the long shop that I bought from you, Hadrian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the hot pink one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but oh, Cecilia is calling the wallet. Cecilia, send her an email. It's right there on the screen, Riochan, um, forty four at hotmail dot com, and she'll send you an invoice to PayPal. Yep. Oh, there's my cat. <laughs> so cute. He just walked by. But this one, this one had the corner rub. So, see how the corners. And it didn't have the strap on it. Yeah. So I don't know, like. I don't know if it's worth selling. Maybe I should just keep it as like a beater bag. But I mean, I guess I'll list it if anybody wants it. So I think I bought it from you for like 80 or 90 or something. But I'll um sell it for like 50. That's what the interior looks like. So my loss, your gain. <laughs> it's clean. And it was from Hadrian, so you know it's a good bag. <laughs> Oh, Carmen wants to see the Gucci sunglasses, please. The Gucci sunglasses? Yes. Oh, yeah. these are, They're nice. Okay. Let me pop up my little thingy again. So, dust bag. But I'll throw in a hard case. That way it doesn't get squished during transit. And then that's what they look like. Can you see that? Let me move it back a little bit more. Yeah, a move it. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more. Mm, yeah. This is so difficult. <laughs> There's no scratches on it. I literally wore it once, and it comes with like the paperwork and stuff. So it comes with, like this as well. Oh, and it comes with a cleaning cloth too. Yay! Yeah. I can give you the measurements again. Um, oh, so for the measure, to see the long shop again after that one too, please. Okay. Um, the sunglasses were fifty nine square nineteen dash one four five. If that helps at all. And then the long champ. So the handles were good. Everything on it was good except for the corners. I'll show you the corners again. So that's what it looked like. It's like, um, it's shown up more of a coral pink on here, but it's more of a pink pink. Like, yeah. So the corners. Corner. Both corners. And then it's silver hardware too, by the way. And the interior again looks like that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hold on, you gotta see this. This is hilarious. My cat's in my in the no way bag. <laughs> what is Aww. he doing? No, no, you. I have to sell that. Hold on. <laughs> I think. Oh my god. Yeah, I think it is the medium size, Cecilia. Which one, the long champ? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Sorry if you buy my purses and your allergic cats. I try to clean them before I send them out too, so no worries there. But yeah, that's what the long champ looked like. But I think that's I think that's about it. 
<laughs> Cat's bougie. <laughs> <laughs> Kirsten says if it comes with a kitty, she'll definitely consider. I mean, you can have him. He's so annoying, but I love him. <laughs> but uh, I think that's it. So thanks for letting me on and yeah, so showing off my stuff. Yeah, if I anything, though, again, let us know really quickly. So, um, <laughs> and, and if you're watching this live after it's already over, I'm going to have all the info down below for her items. And you can send her an email. That's that Rio underscore Chan 44 at hotmail.com. This was super cute, but I'll keep it. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thanks. I appreciate it, as always. But I'll let you uh, go and do your thing. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'll be lurking in chat if anyone has any questions. All right. Later. Bye. Oh, where am I? Hold on. Let me fix myself. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no. Wrong thing. Oh, still not connected to the right camera. Oh, hold on. Now my computer is thinking. Why are you thinking? Okay. We are not back. Where am I? Oh, there you go. No. Oh. Yay, we're back. Okay. Welcome back. We're no. Oh, and Kirsten's asking about if there were any notes on the white Kate Spade. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, I'm going to show you guys just a couple more things. I don't want to hold you guys up for too long because it's almost midnight. So we left off, I believe, on number seven, which was our gray Tory Burch. That was $85. Let's go to number eight. Number eight. Oh, you know, I totally forgot that I still had these. This is a pair of Tiffany and Co. sunglasses. They are in this pretty pink color, and they have like a rose pink colored uh, lens, and they have a light gold hardware with these little leaves with crystal details. Super cute. Um, I did notice though that one of the arms, it you see there's like a little metal piece right there. This one is missing it. Like it has come off. Um, but otherwise, that's like the only thing that's wrong with it. It's honestly not even noticeable when you're wearing the sunglasses because that like literally tucks behind your ear. Um, it still has the, the, the price tag attached to it. These retail for $440. And this is how they look on. They're really, really cute. They almost have like a slight cat eye. And this is going to be a number eight. So these are pink Tiffany and Co. sunglasses. With gold hardware. And these are... Let's do these for $85. Okay. We're going to discount those a, little, a good amount. It's item number eight. Our Tiffany and Co. sunglasses. Number eight for 85. Next up, we have number nine. Okay, I'm gonna speed race through this. Next up, I have this is a brand new with tags Mark Jacobs. This is the puffy um, flat bag in this really beautiful mint color. And it has this shorter chain strap in silver. Isn't it so cute? And has a little Marc Jacobs leather tag right there. And it does have 
the um, longer strap, it's in the same leather color as this, and it's adjustable and removable since it's not even attached right now. Here's the inside. Like I said, it's brand new, nice and clean. Has the Marc Jacobs um, booklet right here, and the tag is still here as well. This retails for $495. And oh, there also is a really nice pocket back here it has a magnetic snap super cute super soft and this is going to be item number nine this is our mark jacobs puffy pillow flap bag with silver hardware new with tags and this is going to be 180 dollars that's going to be item number nine, if anyone's interested in that guy. Next up is number 10. And number 10, this is the... This is the Jimmy Choo, I believe it's called the Ricky. And this is in a crinkle patent in this, like, dark mahogany color with gold hardware. She's beautiful. She's in pretty good shape. Um, the leather is in great condition. The underside of the top handles are a smooth leather in the same color, which is great. You open it by popping this lock up and then removing the belt. And then the inside is in this tan microfiber lining, like there. There's a zipper pocket in the back. And then there's three other pockets. There's smaller pockets on either side and there's another pocket on the bottom. And it looks to be it's in pretty good shape. There are a couple very small, um, like, pen marks. But they're pretty negligible. They're pretty light and really small. So, looks really great inside and out. I think this is this was one of Jimmy Choo's, like, it bags was the Ricky. This bag was everywhere. And it's such a beautiful handbag still to this day. Super cute. It's nicely on your shoulder. And this is number 10, our mahogany uh, crinkle patent. What kind is this? Uh, Jimmy Choo. <laughs> Ricky bag with gold hardware. This is also the larger size, too. This is the larger size. And this is how much we ran? Okay, we're gonna do this one for, let's keep it under 100, we're gonna do $95. I believe this bag retails for about 1500, I think. I think it actually might have been more than that, but this was a really expensive bag. Um, that's gonna be number 10 for $95. Next up is 11. Oh, yeah, it's pretty heavy, Linda. It's a pretty heavy bag. The leather on this is, like, really thick, so it makes it a little heavier. Plus, it does have um, all of these grommets, which also add a good amount of weight to the bag as well. But she's beautiful and a really, really good size. Next up... I have, oh, okay, so I had the smaller version of this bag earlier in black, and now I have it in yellow. This is a Kurt Geiger flap bag, and this is in this beautiful yellow color. It has the same tonal colored hardware. Um, it does have some light rubbing on the corners. Nothing too intense, though. And there are, like, some just normal signs of wear on the hardware. 
And the straps are convertible. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody. It has a magnetic top flap. And then the interior just has two compartments just separated down the middle. And it is nice and clean on the inside. But this is such a pretty color. Beautiful Kurt Geiger yellow flap bag. With tone, tone hardware. And this is $90. It's going to be item number 11. And in comparison to the size of the black one. There's a size comparison. And this one has the adjustable straps. This one has a shorter chain strap and then it has the longer like nylon strap with a little removable coin purse. Next up is 12. And for number 12, uh, I have this guy right here. This is a coach bag. This is in navy. So this one actually is navy. This is in a beautiful pebbled leather. It has gunmetal colored hardware. And it has this really nice whip stitch design that's on the front and the back. And then also on the shorter shoulder strap. It does also have a removable cross body strap right here as well. And this is like so cute, like just wearing it on your shoulder. It's adorable. And inside, it just has one interior zipper pocket and it has the Creed right inside of there. Right, Linda? I love I love a navy and gunmetal color combo as well. The leather on this is in great shape. The hardware just has just the regular light signs of like wear, just like light marks. Primarily right here. But it's a really cute bag. And it's a good size, so I feel like this is small, but it'll hold a ton. And the leather is nice and pliable. This is number 12, navy, blue, pebbled, leather, Coach cross body bag with gunmetal hardware. This is gonna be $75, and that's number 12. <gasps> Ooh, okay, so number 13 is next. I have Oh, Linda's calling number 12. Congratulations, Linda! <laughs> okay, number 12 is gonna be so cute. Hold on. Okay, number or number thirteen. Number thirteen is gonna be super fun. Okay, now this one. Can you already see the handle? It's a metallic magenta. Okay, are you guys ready for this? This is a little mini. Like the camera. Like, does not do this bag justice. It is so cute. This is a Stella McCartney um, mini backpack bag. And it is so fun. It's in this really pretty, like, magenta... It feels like almost like a satin type of fabric. And then it has the metallic uh, pat... Like, the metallic, uh, like, a vegan leather uh, trim. And I love that she has her signature like woven chain detail in the front right here. It actually is a pocket, but it's magnetic. So that is adorable. I love this. This is my favorite. And then it also is seen here in the top handle with a chain detail as well. And this is like literally like brand new. So it has like the tags attached and everything. Um, it says, Stella. Do you see that? It's like debossed. It goes across the back and the bottom. And so you can wear this bag as a crossbody, right? But you pull the straps in the back and now you have a backpack. 
So you can wear it a couple different ways. I just think it's really fun. Um, you can even like if you you can even take off the straps completely and then just carry it with a top handle as well. And then in the inside, it just is like a black fabric lining and you just have one interior pocket inside of there. It's a Stella McCartney Carmen. Um, a phone, ooh, the front looks like it would be kind of small to fit a phone. Yeah, the phone isn't going to fit, unfortunately. That would be the regular um, bag right there. So unless you have like a smaller flip phone, it'll fit inside. Um, the only thing is though, in the front, it looks like it might have had like some slight discoloration. Can you see the from the top flap? So it does have like some slight discoloration from right there. But otherwise the bag is in really, really great condition. It might have been like maybe like in the window or something of a, like a store display and it caused the fabric to lighten up. So that might be where that's from. But yeah, so, so cute. I Right? Yeah, Stella McCartney only uses vegan products. She doesn't use any animal products in any of her um, clothing, handbags, or anything like that. And yeah, she's super cute, so tiny, and adorable. So this is going to be number 13. This is our Magenta Stella McCartney mini backpack with silver hardware. And this is... Okay, let's do this one for... We're going to do a really, really good deal tonight. Um, $150. $150. That's going to be number 13. She's so cute. You don't even notice the discoloration unless, like, you open this up. And even then, it's not, like, super noticeable. But it's such a cute little bag. I love that you can convert the crossbody strap with the backpack. It's so cute. It's adorable. I'm obsessed. I love the color too. Here's the front, here's the sides. All that good stuff. I, I love that this is magnetic. It's like my favorite part about the bag. <laughs> it's so cute. All right. Um, next up. Is 14. Oh, now my allergies are starting to act up, too. Okay. 14 is... Let's do... Oh, I forgot that I had this. Okay. This one's a fun one. This is a um, Kate Spade. She is glittery and gorgeous. Um, it's kind of like... I can't even describe what color this is. It's like a brown, mahogany-ish. You know, it's like brown with like reddish tones in it. She's nice and glittery. And she's like glittery and fun like throughout. Like all the sides and the back. Really pretty. It has... Um, Light gold hardware. We got the crossbody strap, which is removable and adjustable. And the interior has three built in card slots just right there. So fun. It looks like she does have like a little smudge like right there. Can you see that? So there's like a little thing right there. It's really hard to see though because it's like so glittery, but there is like a little something. Like right there. But it is Valentine's Day ready. So cute. Such a pretty bag. And this is going to be item number 14. Our Kate Spade um, Mahogany. Um, The second one.
Okay, we're going to do this one for $80. It's going to be number 14. So cute. She glittery. Okay, so number 14. Next up, we have 15. Oh man, I skipped all my numbers again. How much was a seller? How's a deal? Okay, so 15. Uh, style chat. It's about eight inches wide by about seven inches tall. So eight by seven. In comparison to my phone, Looks like that. So this will fit. Um, the largest iPhone will fit inside. Like that fits in there perfectly. And fits really well. Agreed finding solace. Okay. Um, 15, I have, this even comes with a desk bag. Um, this is a Zadig and Voltaire, uh, like, zipper pouch clutch. And it has, like, this cool, like, abstract kind of design to it. I don't even know how they did it. Like, it's like, I think it's like lasered on, like they lasered on the design and that's on the front and the back and the interior of the pouch just looks like this. There's no pockets or anything, just the tag. And this also does come with the dust bag as well. Oh, yeah, style chat. It'll definitely fit inside of there. It'll if, if you have a flip phone, it might even fit inside the pocket of that Stella. So. Okay, so that's number 15 is our Zadig and Voltaire uh, tan brown leather pouch with gold hardware and a dust bag. And this is going to be... Uh, we're going to do this one for $40. This one is in like new condition. That's going to be number 15 for $40 for a Zadig and Voltaire pouch. Next up, we have 16. Okay, this guy, um, this is an Alexander Wang black leather backpack. This bag is beautiful. The leather on this guy is stunning. It has silver hardware. I really like the little zipper pulls too. They're like um, Nubuck, like almost like a shoelace kind of thing. And so they're actually like they're leather. And then they have little metal aglets on the ends as well. Uh, the strap, the straps are leather. They're adjustable. You got a nice big front zipper pocket right here and main compartment opens up there's a pocket in the back you can put your laptop inside of there and then on the other side you have a zipper compartment and this is such a good size backpack like it's super sturdy the leather is amazing it also does have um, four little leather feet underneath as well. Uh, this has silver hardware. I think I mentioned that. And yeah. Alexander Wang. Black pebbled leather Alexander Wang backpack. With silver hardware. 
We're going to do this one for $150. dollars one fifty, And that's going to be number 16 for our Alexander Wang backpack. Black leather. It's in really great shape. Silver hardware. Number 16. Stunning. And then it also says Alexander Wang right there on the little leather tab in the back. I love this backpack, it's really nice. Okay, next up is number 17. Let's do this. Okay, this one is a Kurt Geiger tote bag. Um, this one is made in Italy. It's all stamped right there on the front. And it has this embossed crocodile print on the leather. It is beautiful. This bag is like so stunning. The straps are long enough to carry on your shoulder as well. And then the inside, it's unlined. So it's just the suede underneath. And then there is a zipper pocket right there as well. Um, it does have like a slight like perfume scent to it. It's not bad at all, but it does have like a slight perfume scent. But it's pleasant. I like it. It's not like too floral or too powder or anything like that. I think it's nice. And then the straps are in great shape. Beautiful, large tote bag. It reminds me of that, like, there's um, a bag like this from The Row that looks like this, and I think they also did it in a crocodile embossed, and it's just beautiful. I love, love, love this bag. It's stunning. So this is going to be item number 17. Our black croc embossed leather um, Kurt Geiger bag with um it doesn't have like any hardware on it but it does have gold writing on the front if that matters to anyone um but that's like the only other color that's on here there's no um there is like the hardware inside and that's in gold and this is gonna be 90 dollars it's gonna be item number 17 And then 18 is next. <gasps> oh, you guys want to see these new sunglasses that I got? <laughs> oh, I'm addicted. Check these out. They're Fendi, and they have, like, the Fendi... They're, um... They're like a tortoise shell, and then they have like the Fendi monogram in them. Oh, bag of the day? All right, let me show you. We'll do this next. Let's do a quick bag of the day first. If I have to like jump over all my stuff. Okay, bag of the day. I have, um, this is a Chanel boy bag in black with, um, like that ruthenium hardware. It doesn't have too much stuff inside though. I took out a lot of, I literally only have um, my sunglasses, these are those, these are Bottega, and then, I still haven't changed out of this wallet, the Loewe wallet, and then of course I have like my chapstick in here, and my keys are somewhere, 
And then I have a little, um, this is a, Arizona is the name of the perfume or cologne by Proenza Schooler. It's like a little sample thing. And then I have like sunglass cleaner. And I just have like a little um, bag organizer thing inside. But I'm probably going to be using those Fendi sunglasses. Um, you know, I do. I think I'll show them tomorrow because I need to get my, I don't know where my sizer is for the rings. So I need to find it or borrow Adrian's sizer. Oh yeah, Linda, that's what it is. You know that, um, that middle pocket of their, like in the Chanel reissue? Um, there's two pockets and there's like a middle smaller one that's for the lipstick. So you put like a lipstick or a chapstick or whatever inside of there. And thank you, Cecilia. Uh, all I all the days are it's just like one long day for me. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, that was the bag of the day. Love it. I love that bag so much. I still haven't even fixed it up. Like, or I kind of did. Um, when I got this, it had like, like a lot, of, like a tear right here. And I, I fixed it up. Like I sealed it. I just never colored it in right there. So it had like a tear in the, like the leather of the piping right there. But I filled it in. And I when I put paint over it, you're not even going to be able to tell it's there. It's like, that was the only thing that was really wrong with it. But I love this bag. My mom and I, like, my mom actually owns this same exact bag. So we're like twins. I think she also has it in the Ruthenium hardware as well. So we're literally, we have like the same, the same bag. Uh, <laughs> it's mostly Tiffany, so it's mostly Tiffany jewelry is what I have. So, yeah, I'll show it, um, in tomorrow night's live with, um, V's coming on with me tomorrow. I think, I don't know if she's still in here, but, um, we're going to do a live together tomorrow night at 10. Also, Vadrian isn't going to be here tomorrow. Um, Vadrian has a family obligation, so... Be easy on me. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be going solo tomorrow, and yeah. But I love these sunglasses; they're so cool. Oh, they match my sweater. Oh my gosh, Linda, you gotta show me photos when you carry her out, okay? I'm so glad that you have that bag because it's in the family still. You gotta send me, like, update photos. <laughs> Outfit of the day photos with the bag. It's so beautiful. I love that bag so much. Okay. Um, next up, I have... This is a... A beautiful... Kuyana... Like, satchel. It is beautiful. It's in this beautiful black leather... I love Kuyana leather so much. Like, their bags are so nice. It does have a little smudge right there. I need to fix it um, or clean it off. But I know I can get this bag looking beautiful. It has black leather handles. And then it has a crossbody strap right here, which is adjustable and removable. And then inside, also lined in leather, which is fantastic. Um, it just has one interior zipper pocket right there. And, yeah, it's nice and clean on the inside. It just has a couple little um, pieces of paper that I need to just pull out. But really cute. I love that it kind of, like, sags like this. And then when you fill it up, you get a different shape. So I love that about this bag. It's nice and slouchy. It's really, really cute. 
Yeah, it's the uh, the metallic silvery green Chanel reissue. It is like perfection. That bag was beautiful. I love the reissue Chanel bags. They're my favorite. Okay, so this is our black Kuyana satchel with gold hardware. Did I say that it had silver hardware? I meant gold. Um, the hardware on this on the side though, it's kind of turning silver. You see that right there. But that's from the friction with a strap. But they are they're gold. Uh, and this is how much filtering. This one is $85. And that's going to be item number 18. Oh, it's already past midnight. This is the latest we've gone in a while. It is past midnight. I'm sorry, it's past our bedtimes. Okay. Um, number 20 is next. I think this bag is so cute. My mom actually um, owns this bag in like more of like a pink color. But this one is so cool. This is a Chloe. I believe this is called the Chloe Ethel, I think is the name. I think it's the Ethel. And this is the small version, which I think is so cute. It's in this beautiful like orange. And the color is, like, this is the color that the bag is. But these were all, like, they're vegetable dyed. And the color kind of just, like, changes over time. And now this looks like, like, an orange sorbet. Like, it has, like, an ombre. It's so cool. I really like how it turned out. It does have some slight rubbing on the corner, on the piping. Nothing too crazy. But this one... It's so cute. I love the chunky gold hardware. It has the cross body strap, which is adjustable and removable. The top handles, the contrasting, like this this color from Chloe is called grayish. It's like a gray beige color. Um, it's not super heavy, but it's solid. So it's a smaller bag, so it's not very heavy. I would say it's about Maybe like a pound and a half, like uh, under two pounds for sure. But in comparison to my phone, this is the size. And this will fit like a full size wallet and all that stuff. It does zip across the top as well. And it does come with all of the cards from Chloe in the inside. And it just has one interior like open pocket right there. And then like I said, it does zip across the top and it has gold hardware. It's so cute. Here it is. You, the, like I said, the crossbody strap is adjustable too. So, but here it is, like crossbodied. It is such a cute bag. Like, I think this bag is so cute. And I'm obsessed with the color. It looks like, like, a, like a sunset. It's really, really, it's really, really cute. It does also have like a little mark right there on the bottom. These, oh, the card fell out. Let me zip it so it doesn't fall out. It does have like a, you see like that mark on the bottom? And then it kind of has like a dark mark right there. But it's cute. I like it. It's a cute bag. Okay, it's Chloe Ethel. I want to say it's called the Chloe Ethel. I think it is. But I might be wrong. Chloe Ethel Satchel in orange sorbet. I want to call it. With gold hardware. And cards. And we're going to do this for $130. That's going to be item number 19. And this is Chloe. So cute. I The color just makes me so happy. I don't know why I saw it. And I was like, I don't think Vadrian likes it very much. But I love the color. I think it's so cute. 
I think it's cute. Okay, that's 19. I believe this was like, um, they didn't make very many of this size either. So this is like our, our rare size for this style. But I remember this bag was really popular. Like, like I said, I told you guys my mom has this bag in like a, it's almost like a nude pink color. It's really cute, but she has the size up in the larger size. <gasps> she also has it in black. She also has this bag in black. In that same size, it's, the, it's like the medium size. It's really a cute bag. Oh, I'm going to show this to her. She's going to be like, ah! Okay. Um, wait, should we end it? We should still one more. We'll end at 20. So that way, it's already past midnight. I don't want to keep you guys for too much longer. Um... Our next item, this is a Mark by Mark Jacobs, like, hobo kind of tote style bag. Black pebbled leather. The straps are actually adjustable, so they're belted, and they have, like, the little grommets. So you can adjust the length of the straps. This is the longest that they go, and it sits really comfortably on your shoulder, which is nice. It has uh, gold hardware, and it's just super soft black leather. It has a magnetic snap at the top, which is nice. And then the inside has just one interior uh, zipper pocket and then two open pockets. So you got a zipper pocket on one side, two open pockets on the other. It does have some... Hi, Adriana! No, keep going. I'm doing work tomorrow. <laughs> I know. Um, there is some discoloration towards the top. Like, by the opening. I'm going to be back tomorrow night, though, Adriana, at 10. I'm going to come back on with V. And V is so fun. She's, like, so animated, so alive. Like, no one's going to fall asleep on her watch. <laughs> Man. What's it? Uh, what's that chemical in Turkey that makes you sleepy? Um, does it start with a T? Whatever it is. Makes you sleepy. From all that turkey. Okay, so this is our Black Mark by Mark Jacobs tote bag with gold hardware. Okay, this one is how much are you for this guy? Yeah, let's do... Let's do that. Yeah, let's do this one for how much? Oh, also, um, there is some edge coat wear to this. I'm gonna touch it up, but it does have like some edge coat wear right there. So it has some, some crap. Tryptophan, there you go. Tryptophan. I couldn't remember. I was like trick da pa da pa da. Okay, this is gonna be fifty five dollars, you guys. This is gonna be our um number twenty. And if anyone has any questions about any of the items that I showed tonight, definitely let me know. Um, and I can show them again. Also, Anne's items are also available tonight, too. You can send her an email. That was that email that I had linked up there. And if you're watching this video after it's already over, you can check down below. Items availability and the descriptions are going to be there, along with pricing and availability. And then we'll be back again tomorrow night at 10 p.m., uh, Pacific time with V. She's amazing. She told me she has some really great stuff for you guys. Um, she has handbags. She has clothing. A lot of athleisure. Um, Lululemon. Stuff like that. So it's going to be very fun. You're welcome, Anne. And what else was I going to tell you guys? Um, I think that's it. <laughs> I'm like kind of hungry so I think I'm gonna go find like is it too late it's not too late to eat I always eat late that's like my downfall is eating late it's like my favorite good night Linda yeah so Saturday night 10 p.m pacific time tomorrow 
is our next live, okay? So it's Small Business Saturday. Oh, I have my hairbrush here. This, These hairbrushes are, like, this is a Denman brush. I know they're not, like, viral or anything right now, like those other TikTok brushes. But Denman brushes are so nice. Like, they feel so good on your scalp. It's amazing. It just makes your scalp feel so tingly and nice. Um, Here's the link one more time, though, for the giveaway. We're giving away that avocado little wristlet tonight. There's that link right there. And then let's pick our winner. Oh, no. Did I close my other? No, I didn't close the window. It's right there. Um, I don't know what her YouTube channel is. She did a live, though, on whatnot. But I have her email address. Um, and you can email her for the info. Or, um, she's on, she's on our Discord, too. It's okay, Kirsten. It's not, we're just happy that you're here with us. We love you. Oh, Anne, Anne, there you are. Anne, can you, um... Adriana wants to know what your YouTube channel is. What's your what's your um YouTube channel name? And what is your um what not your name on what not too? Kirsten, you're we we just love you. We just love that you're here with us. Okay, we're gonna pick our winner in three, two. One, do, 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 do. Our winner tonight is Vader Hidden is FaceTiming me. Um, Fighting Solace went to the mall. It was insane. Congratulations, Fighting Solace. You are the winner tonight of our avocado clutch. <laughs> Congratulations. Yay! Oh, so exciting. Okay, that is it, though, for tonight. Um, again, please join us tomorrow, 10 p.m. Pacific Time, Saturday night. I'm going to be on live with V. It's going to be so much fun. She's always super energetic and exciting, and she has a ton of great stuff for you guys tomorrow night. So, uh, But thank you all so much for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, congratulations again to Finding Solace, and... Um, thank you, Anne, for co-hosting with me. And, oh no, the mall. I know, right, Kirsten? I was just like, I don't want to be near any malls. When you drive by, like, when you drive by the mall on the freeway, there's literally so much traffic because everyone was trying to exit to go to the mall. So it was insane. But good night, you guys. Have a great Saturday tomorrow. Enjoy your day. Have fun shopping or relaxing or whatever it is that you're doing, working. And um, hopefully see you guys at 10. All right. Good night. Congratulations again to Fighting Solis. Good night, Kirsten, Tanya, and uh, Adriana, Linda, Style Chat, West Coast Gal. Um, Adriana, if I didn't mention your name, I'm so sorry. I love you guys, though, I'll immensely. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right. Bye.